deal with intelligence and life and the time you deal with death? Well, I would say H plus because the more you have weight and you have some. See, the word, like our master teacher explained to us, something, S-O-M-E, and something, S-U-M, is the same thing. It's really, phonetically, it's the same thing. Some means to add on. So if, if, if the lightest thing that they could weigh was hydrogen at one point in time, and they've been announcing that for the last hundred years, that's the state of something. And everything else is added on. The more electrons and more things are coming together, you form more complex um, molecules. Going back to the, stage, the stages of existence, the, the triple darkness, that all ties into it. How things manifested to come into being because you have existence before creations. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so that would be life. Say that again? That would be life. That would be life, exactly. Life and here you'll be, it'll be animated. Things are in motion on this side. On the other side are the state of naught and ought. You understand? Yet existence. Existence is. You were, you were in a state of existence before you were created. You know what I'm saying? You had to exist first before you were created. To be created is to be fashioned. So you had a stage of existence, or the, that stage of darkness, and then the stage of creation, which is another stage of darkness, when you was in the womb of your mother, and she held you for nine months, when that ovum and that sperm met, and you became, and you started to develop, and you became a being. You understand? But you existed before that. You had a zero time reference. That would be the ether. Okay, brother, I'm going to read this real quick. This is also coming from the Holy Tablets. This is also com coming from chapter 1, verse 16. And this is dealing with ether. Non-ether is a combination of all existing gases of nature. Nothing anywhere can be more can be as powerful as all existing gases. On Earth, these gases are known as rad radon with an atomic number of 26, exonon with an atomic number of 54, krypton with an atomic number of 36, argon with an atomic number of 18, neon with an atomic number of 10, and helium with an atomic number of 2. These are also called the noble gases on the periodic or element chart, on the physical chart. However, on the ethic chart, they are listed as thus. Thus? Thus, like, as this. You have E2, E10, E18, E26, E, very tiny, I can't read this. And note the word element and elementary from elementum, first principle. Therefore, non ether is the most potent power in all the boundless universe. Non ether is the original creator who grew all the universes. Non ether beings utilize the force that yield energy, versing energy into one form, the universe. Uni meaning from Unos. I'm sorry, this is real tiny. I'm having a hard time reading this. Or coming from a single point. And with that answer, the brother, I want to pass the class on. I was going to say, so your, um, your affirmation comes from your non ether. I'm sorry? Affirmation, does that come from the non ether? It comes from non ether. It comes from what you call, consider the omniverse. Right. All right. Uh, the brothers are telling me it's late in the hour, so I'm going to go ahead and end class right now. Um, hope you all, if,
I thank everybody for coming out and uh, hope to see you all next week. And please have plenty of questions. Appreciate y'all. Without.